In 2004, two scholars announced that they had discovered the earliest known version of a poem by Sappho, the Greek poetess known as the Tenth Muse. It was written on a fragment of a papyrus used to cover an Egyptian mummy. The poem, which had been transcribed at least 300 years after the death of Sappho, became one of the most complete examples of her work available to date. In just 12 lines, it captures the poetess's insights into her own ageing process and the plight of humans as we grow old. Her words, which resonate more than ever 2,700 years later, read as follows. You for the fragrant blossom muse's lovely gifts, be zealous girls and the clear melodious lyre. But my once tender body, old age now, has ceased, my hair's turned white instead of dark. My heart's grown heavy, my knees will not support me, that once on a time were fleet for the dancer's fawns. This state I oft bemoan, but what's to do? Not to grow old, being human, there's no way. Tithonus once, the tale was, rose armed dawn, Love smitten, carried off to the world's end. Handsome and young then, yet in time grey age overtook him, husband and mortal wife. According to this story, the goddess of the dawn, Aeos, had fallen in love with Tithonus. Aeos persuaded Zeus to grant Tithonus eternal life. Zeus, however, took Aeos' request literally. He made Tithonus immortal, but did not give him eternal youth. As a result, Tithonus started to grow old, becoming progressively debilitated by multiple chronic conditions and demented. The myth ends with Aeos trying to mitigate Tithonus's suffering by transforming him into a grasshopper. At the dawn of the 21st century, millions of people around the world are facing the same challenges illustrated in the myth. The extraordinary level of control of acute conditions and the lengthening of life expectancy achieved is now ushering in a global epidemic of chronic diseases and infirmity. The high prevalence of chronic diseases makes them the leading cause of mortality in the world. Even in low to middle income countries, the gap separating chronic from infectious diseases is narrowing quickly. About 50% of people with chronic diseases have two or more of them. This new phenomenon is known as polypathology and it represents the greatest challenge for all health systems at present. Although in general this epidemic of chronicity and polypathology is underestimated, fortunately there are more and more worldwide initiatives that are contributing to the improvement of care of people living with chronic diseases.